Hello everyone, I'm Dimitris and today we will talk about the pointer to implementation idiom in C++. The pointer to implementation, or PIMPLE for short, is a technique that allows you to hide implementation details from an interface. Some practical benefits of PIMPLE are number 1. Optimized compilation time. This means that changes in the implementation do not require components that only depend on the interface to be recompiled. Number two, completely hidden implementation when distributing a pre-compiled library. If you want to share your library without giving access to the source code, you typically distribute one or more header files that include the various declarations used during compilation along with a shared library, for example, a .so or .dll file. The pre-compiled library includes the definitions or in other words, implementations of the components of the header files and is utilized during linking. Pimple allows you to skip sharing the dependencies as well as the private member declarations of the said components which would have been otherwise necessary to include in the header file. Number three, Pimple allows you to switch class implementations transparently to the user of the class you can determine which class to use during linking. Let's have a look at some code that can benefit from being refactored with the pimple idiom. Assume a gyroscope that uses the I2C bus to transmit data. Here you can see how the header and the source file would look like. As expected, we face the following issues. Any changes to the gyroscope class implementation or its dependencies will require recompilation of any software that depends on the gyroscope class. Distributing the gyroscope class as a shared library will require you to not only distribute the gyroscope header file, but also the I2C communication bus one and so forth. Next, if a gyroscope variant is introduced, and this should be transparent to the user, it may not be trivial to switch implementations during linking when details are leaked through the header file. For example, if the user's code needs to run on a different hardware platform where SPI is used instead of I2C, the dependency to I2C is still visible through its inclusion in the gyroscope header file. Problems such as the ones outlined above can be solved by applying the pimple idiom. The key concept is to hide all implementation details and dependencies into CPP files by forward declaring an implementation class and maintaining a pointer to it as a member variable. Now the gyroscope header file can be shared with our users and includes the bare minimum information they must know to integrate our class into their code. As you can see, we have forward declared gyroscope impl, which is to be defined elsewhere, along with a unique pointer to a gyroscope impl instance. In the I2C gyroscope impl.cpp file, which will not be shared with our users and its contents will eventually reside in a shared library, we have the definition of the gyroscope impl class that we forward declared in gyroscope.h. Note that the dependency to I2C communication bus is no longer exposed via the gyroscope header which we share with our users. Then, we also define the gyroscope class that merely relays information to and from the gyroscope impl. Here, you should be aware that the gyroscope destructor cannot be default constructed or defined in the header file since, and pay attention to this, at the time the header is used, it is not known to the compiler how to distract the unique pointer of type gyroscope impl that is a member variable of the class. Keep in mind that in gyroscope.h we have only forward declared the gyroscope impl class. Nothing else is known about it and therefore the gyroscope destructor defined in the header file 
will not know how to distract it. This is why we would have to define the gyroscope distractor in our implementation file and after it is known how to distract the gyroscope impl class. In other words, after the gyroscope impl class distractor has been defined. Of course, declaring and defining a class entirely inside an implementation file does not mean you should throw design best practices out of the window. For example, in I2C gyroscope impl.cpp, our business logic is tightly coupled to the I2C communication bus class, which is a concrete one. We can still inject dependencies by breaking the actual implementation in separate files, for example, with SPI gyroscope.h and SPI gyroscope.cpp. This allows the gyroscope impl class to be considered as the integration scope and SPI gyroscope to contain the core business logic that should be unit tested. I hope that this short tutorial helps you understand more about the pointer to implementation idiom in C++. Personally, I prefer not to use it, but under certain circumstances, I understand when people do. And that was all. If you enjoyed this video, it will help me tremendously if you like it and subscribe it to my channel. Until next time, stay healthy and safe.